The design process started with the mission of the school. When we were approached by the school to design the school of government for them, one thing uh, was most important for them was really like to create a space for the people to meet. You know? And uh, we soon talked about this idea of this forum space, which is a mixture between circulation space and meeting space. You know, that we would bring this together in one central space, forming the building and also being the heart of the whole building. And we like that idea a lot, you know, and it kind of makes sense because we have the students coming from all over the world and they, they want to bump into each other. They don't want to sit just next to each other in the lecture theatre, but they have the possibility to exchange and to meet and to um, form to new groups, uh, developing ideas and themes. So um, we related to this strongly and um, we even push it a bit further. We said maybe the forum space can even be used, almost like a theatre space or a concert space and so on. And we used ideas of um, concert halls we were designing at the same time or even stadias or whatever, but that you have basically the possibility um, to really activate the entire space with all the balconies, so to say, overlooking it. And um, we like that also as an idea that the space is not an empty atrium. It's not a hollow thing. It's not a hollow gesture. It really is a truly working space bringing these things together. It's also important that all the functions grouped around it have a very different kind of feel, scale, proportion, acoustic properties and so on. Yeah, so it's a, it's a very diverse universe of very different spaces all grouped around this one central thing and that, that creates a lot of opportunity for the students. To, to kind of work in the historic Oxford city f fabric was for us uh, key. Of course we had a lot of respect in terms of Oxford. I mean Oxford is a stunning city and a beautiful example. Uh, the colleges are really strong and striking with their central courtyard and uh, also with their halls. And, and this, this idea of the central courtyard and the hall we almost wanted to bring together in one space. That's the, that's the forum space. But then there's also the urbanistic kind of approach to it. I mean Oxford is, is very clearly structured, you know, and, um, and the, the, the buildings sit well proportioned in the context and you find uh, precise geometries and precise um, um, outlines and volumes and building footprints and we kind of um, tried to get to the DNA of that. Rather than replicating it, we kind of wanted to understand what was the driving concept behind these architectures and that we would use maybe some of this thinking to come up with our um, volume as well. For us it's now very beautiful to experience that the building is also working and is accepted, you know, not only by the students but I think also by the people of Oxford and that for us is already um, a huge achievement, you know, and um, in general it, it feels very special to have completed this building because it's the first um, substantial educational building actually we have built. The building has a, has a beautiful proportion and scale and I think that's also very important. It, uh, it feels right, you know, it's, it's big but it's not too big and uh, it's comfortable and, um, and I think that's, that's the most important thing in, in, in architecture. It should not be intimidating, it should basically relate to the people and the people should relate to the architecture and they should feel um, comfortable at home basically and if you have achieved that I think then, then you succeeded. And, I think we did quite well.